Hi, I'm Deborah Cooney and you're watching Wellness Rocks TV. Today it's all about coconut oil. I've been using this oil for about a year and a half and I have to say I absolutely love it. Now coconut oil has gotten a bad rap for many years because it is a saturated fat and we've been told not to eat saturated fats or to eat less of them. There is a difference though with coconut oil. Coconut oil is made up of medium chain triglycerides and a lot of other saturated fats will be made up of large or long chain triglycerides. The difference between the two is that medium chains are absorbed more quickly into the bloodstream. They also are used as energy quite quickly rather than being stored. So it's a plus straight away. They also, coconut oil also contains some substances called lauric acid, caprylic acid and capric acid. And these substances are antiviral, antifungal and antibacterial. So it's a plus, plus, plus all around for these. It has many, many health benefits and I have a list length of my arm, so I'll crack on and get through them. So firstly, it stimulates thyroid function lowers cholesterol and helps to soothe eczema or psoriasis. So with these skin conditions, you would literally rub it onto the skin and you can also take it orally or do both. It helps to support the immune system and promotes weight loss. And it helps to boast, boost brain power. It also reduces heart disease. It helps with diabetes, improves your sleep, and it is fantastic for skincare and oral health care. Now those are two that I will cover in different videos, the skincare and oral health care, because they need a video of their own. So when you're buying it, what are you looking for? You're looking for a glass jar firstly. It's really important that you buy it in a glass jar. If you buy it in a plastic jar, you will get the BPA or that harmful toxic chemical leaching into the oil. And there's no point in paying about 10 or 11 euros or more in some cases for an oil that's got to toxic substances in it. You're also looking for raw virgin oil and organic if possible. And if you turn around to the nutritional information, you will see lauric acid there. You're looking for 40% plus in that. What would you use it in? For me, it's got many different uses in the kitchen. I would use it in my porridge. Um, I would use it for stir frying or any kind of cooking that requires oil. I would also make granola and desserts with it. But I had spoke to you a couple of videos back about smoothies and how to make a smoothie a super smoothie. Well, this is one of the ingredients to add into your smoothie to boost it up and make it a super smoothie. I would put in roughly about a dessert spoon into mine, try it out, maybe try a little bit less and then build it up. And finally, what I do is I actually go around with a teaspoon of it in my mouth. I just love it. I love the taste of it. So there's loads of ways to use it. And if the health benefits haven't already encouraged you to go out and buy it, I don't know what will. Try it out. As usual, please share and comment. I would love to hear from you. And I really appreciate the comments and I love the interaction underneath the posts. And also, if you're not getting these videos, please just pop your details into the box below. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.